My relationship with chronic stress has been probably toxic. <laughs> it's like that person like you know you should break up with, but you just keep going back to because they somehow find their way back in your life. You don't have to be in a relationship with stress. And I think so often we feel like, oh, it's just a part of life. No, it's not. Chronic stress for me, I become the eater, so I will literally bite on every single thing that's around me. And I already like food anyway, so then when you add the stress on top of it, piling yourself up with food that's not healthy, you just feel more sluggish, you feel down, your mental health goes. When I walk through life and I feel light and I feel happy is when I'm at my best. When I feel heavy and I feel dark, you know, I'm not as productive, I'm not as helpful for myself or to other people I love, to my kids, to my family. And I don't like that. I want to show up in this life and show up in this world being the lightest and happiest I can be. I want to smile more than I am overthinking. I want to experience more joy than not. And I realize it's a choice. Am I choosing today to let stress bring my energy down? Or am I choosing to smile at something else that's around me that's making me, bringing me joy. Like if there's a stressful moment, I literally will walk away and turn on music. I'll you literally go stand in the sun and let the rays come on me. I will do whatever I need to do because I would rather choose doing that versus focusing on the stress that's, that will bring me down. Working with the American Heart Association is important for me because, you know, heart issues affect African Americans at an extremely high rate. And so I, I want to make sure that my heart is healthy. I want to make sure that people in my family, their hearts are healthy, but also like I want the world's heart to be healthy. You know, more that I can help people to understand what's going on with them so that they can be better. And I feel like I've done a little bit of my job on this earth. Oh, Chubby Beach me! I was probably about four years old. This is one of my mom's favorite photos. She used to tell me that she wanted me to be a little model. <laughs> At this time, there was stress because this was a dark time. My parents were in a relationship that became abusive where my father was abusing my mother. And everyone tried their best to protect this little boy from that. But this little boy had two ears and could hear everything that was going on. And this little boy used to think that it was his fault that they were fighting because if you're the only one that's sent away, you think you're the cause when everyone else is screaming in the other room. He wanted to figure out how to solve everything that was going on in his family so that everyone could be happy. Ding, 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 why I chose the career I chose. <laughs> like solving other people's problems, that started here. I'm glad that he learned how to deal, how to communicate his feelings, how to ask people for help, how to ask people if they need the help. I started the journey that I am now as a man right here. Ooh! And I was like 24 years old here and looked all about 30. Yes, he knew that he was stressed and he knew that he, the stress and chronic stress was causing him depression. The pressure of being the first openly gay African-American ever on reality television at this time, of people expecting to be one way or another, of trying to figure out how to manage this new world outside of college where it's partying and you're supposed to be an adult, but I didn't know what an adult meant. Like, oh, like this is so stupid. Can y'all stop telling 25 year olds, 26 year olds they're supposed to be adults, please. You have so much growing and life lessons to learn and stop putting the stress on yourself like you're supposed to have it all figured out. Anyway, that's my own little thing. And when you get all that stress of feeling like you have to figure it all out, it caused a lot of depression and sadness, and he didn't know what to do and who to talk to, but I was too afraid to speak up. I was too afraid to say to someone, I'm stressed, I'm dealing with a lot of stress, my heart is aching, someone help me. That was where this, that lesson started to come in. Oh my gosh, this was my sexy era. <laughs> oh, let me tell y'all something. You think you look good at 22, 23? You hit that 30 sweet spot, you start to feel real cute. I felt in control. I had been working on my mental health. I had been going to the doctor regularly. There's something about getting to that place where you know yourself as an adult of like, I'm gonna check in on myself. I'm gonna check in on how I'm feeling. And I was also helping people now, like on television was always my dream. You know, I worked in social services for many years, so I was already doing this career. But I felt good, I looked good. I felt confident and I felt in control. And I also felt like if something was to come to me that stressed me out, I could handle it or I could ask for help. So during this time, I was big on talking to myself <laughs> because 
Talking to yourself out loud is one of the greatest gifts you can do for yourself. I want somebody at home right now to talk to yourself out loud if you are stressed. Say something out loud like, oh, this gets on my nerves, I can't believe this happened, and release it. Releasing it, it, it just, it didn't give it any power. In this moment, stress didn't have any power over me because I knew that whatever came my way, I could deal with it, I could release it, or I could ask for help. And that red coat was cute. These are my sons. As a father, I was managing my stress very well because I understood that there was a village that I needed to look for. I built a really good village around me. My kids and I had a very open relationship where they could tell me anything. One of my parenting tips is do not punish your kids for being honest because I think so often when our kids do something wrong, if they tell us the truth, we're like, go to your room. And that only just encourages and fosters an environment where now why would I tell you the truth? Because if I know negative consequences are coming, why be honest? What I will say during this time is that I should have given my kids more tools of how to manage their stress. One of the things I encourage them is now is to manage the stress they're dealing with is trust your voice, but if your voice feels a little shaky, trust my voice. And trust that I'm going to help you to know that you can release this, that you don't have to know it all, you don't have to figure it all out. And that really guided them in being better. Ooh. This is me now, I'm in my talk show host era, okay? The stress that he's feeling right now is, I wanna be successful, I wanna help a season two, I wanna like come back and I wanna keep helping people and I wanna keep doing this and what if I'm like, oh. and I wanna say relax, calm down, you got it, you've been doing this for years, you know how to do this and it's gonna work out. And here I am a year later going into season two of the Karamo show, not feeling the stress that I felt there, which was the anxiety of can I do this? Am I doing it right? Will I really make the impact that I want? Wise will cause more stress sometimes than you think. What I try to do now is every time I get those why questions that will cause a lot of stress, I start to say to myself, but how could you ever doubt yourself? So I switched my whys with how. It's been a useful practice in releasing stress. So every time I'm like, oh, why is this happening? And I say, well, how could I not learn something great from this? How could this not be a moment of growth for me? How could this not be something where you believe in yourself? And I start to just remind myself that like, there's a how that's stronger than the why for me. So how I manage stress in my life right now is first of all, sleep. I like to make sure I get a good night's rest. I also made sure I scheduled out a lot of times for friends and family. And also a lot of movement. Like I get up and I dance. I'm moving around, I'm breathing. And those things help me to live a stress-free life. You know, as a father, as a career man, talk show host, someone who is always giving, as a, the sort of the person in my family that people come to, I know it's important to balance myself and what I need while also making sure I can be there for others. I want older me to thank younger me for doing the work now. And that's sort of the motto that I have. Like I'm always like, whether it's tomorrow me or 20 year me from now, I want them to be able to say, Thank you for making that choice today to relieve the stress, to be better with your health. And I think sometimes as we get older, we forget that there's still an older us that needs us, that needs you today to be better, even if it's one thing better, if it's making a better decision. And so I constantly am making better decisions for tomorrow me.